Welcome back everyone to our Let's Play series, A Force of Nature. Now in our previous video, uh, we got started in some building. We got, we built a, a basic hut here, which unfortunately was only just big enough to fit a crafting table inside, which greatly expands upon our crafting menu. So if we press C, normally we've got, these are all the things that we can craft by hand. But if we go inside of our, our crafting table, you can see we've got spot for three tools and it greatly expands the things that we can do inside of here as well as being able to craft the things that we would normally craft by hand as well. Okay, we also got an anvil up and going so that we had a couple of spots for tools and then various things that you would expect a blacksmith to be able to forge. Thankfully, when we were uh, marooned on this deserted island, we also came in apparently with the blacksmithing perk. So we know all about blacksmithing and how to create all of these things. Uh, Taking a look at the iron boots there. I'm not sure those boots would be all that comfortable at all. But on to the task at hand for this particular video where we left off uh, at the very end of the previous video. We were tasked with creating some basic nets for trapping animals, which we did. And we can see those here inside looking like spider webs here. We got 15 traps. And if we come into our questing system, we are tasked with taming just one animal. And we can go with a pig, which for now really doesn't give us anything once it's tamed. Uh, cows, goats, chickens, roosters, or sheep. So the first thing we're gonna do here is we are going to take our nets and I am going to drag them in. Let's put them right here. Okay, so we're gonna put them in the eight slot. Okay, let's go ahead and close out of all these windows and we're going to move around. Now we can't do anything with these rabbits. So we got these rabbits uh, around the area that we can't really do anything with. Now if I, if I choose the eight slot, now you can see at the top of the screen, there's this weird mechanic. Uh, I haven't quite figured out it. It's looking as if, because of the way it is, is it wants us to put the animal that we're trying to get right in between those two uh, brackets, right in the green area. However, I have found that this particular mechanic seems to be very much hit or miss. It's almost like just you have a randomized chance of of getting this done so i've tried it where i am you know trying to get as close as i can to the animal before it runs away and try to do it that way and then i've tried using the brackets and it really doesn't seem to be very good either way uh, so there's something i am missing either that or it's sort of a, a randomized thing that whenever you throw the net you have a randomized chance of it being successful so we take a quick look at our map here and i'm looking for enemies because one of the things that this game seems to like to do is whenever you have an animal that you are just about to try to trap, it seems to attract all the enemies that are nearby. So I'm going to try to keep an eye on that, and I'm going to have out our weapon just in case this becomes an issue. All right, so let's see. Oh, and there we are. Sure enough, uh, lots of enemies nearby. There's two right there, and unfortunately, I don't see any way around. Well, we could head off to the left here, or excuse me, to the right, and maybe stay away from those two. Uh, let's do that for now. Again, we do have out our weapon just in case we need it, but I see very much a problem with doing that. Uh, I'm trying to spot some animals. Again, the field of view here, not much of a help. Let's go ahead. I think we're going to need to take on these two guys regardless. Okay, so we've got him alerted. We'll go ahead and fight this battle for him. Okay. So now, look, you, I mean, we, you can see we've got guys all over the place here. All right, so let's go ahead and try to take some of these guys down. All right, there's one. As long as we can get these guys one at a time, they don't do too much damage to us. But the trick is, okay, so now we've alerted him. And you got to, this thing is, the attack is very slow. So you've got to try to, let's go ahead and eat a strawberry here, keep our health as close to maximum as we can. 
All right, so we've got, looks like three more in this general area, one of which is right over here, and we've got him alerted. Here he comes. Oh, perfect time. He got here just when we were swinging. All right. Another one down. And I hear, oh, he's a little closer than I thought. All right. Another one down. And, okay, so one more straight ahead. And there he is. Still haven't seen any animals for us to tame. Okay, so far so good. Let's go ahead and eat another strawberry. And then we're also going to take this opportunity as it starts to get dark to eat a banana to help us out with some stamina. All right, so let's take a quick look at our map again. You can see we've got an enemy again. The biggest thing I don't want to see are bears. Because bears take quite a bit of your health. Now, as long as it's the only thing you're fighting, you're okay. Uh, if you have reasonably full health, you'll be okay fighting them. Uh, but, all right, as we, as nighttime descends on us, can't really see all that much. But we're going to keep plugging away and keeping an eye out here for, really hoping he can get, the field of view much better. Uh, I'm not sure if we need a full first person mode, uh, which I wouldn't mind at all, not in the least, but I'm not sure if that's what we need or if, well, okay, that looks to be a dog or a wolf rather. So we're going to do that. Now, the problem you have with the wolves is that right there. They come in, they don't allow you to you know, fully fight and defeat them. Instead, they run away. So they take up some health and stamina, and you don't really get anything in return. All right, so we're going to keep looking around here. Remember, our... All right, I hear something. All right. Oh, and there comes something right there, which in the dark I can't... Oh, that's another dog or another wolf, rather. And okay, there's a pig. I'm not going to mess with it simply because. Yep, there's our. Okay, so yeah, he's he's going to do the hit and run tactic on us. Luckily, he doesn't take all that much from us. Okay, so we found a pig. I don't want to capture it because it won't do us any good. For now, in the game, they are pretty useless. Okay, there's another enemy to fight. Let's go ahead. It looks like he's back by himself, and there's a chicken over there. Now, I don't want anything to do with that chicken generally because I have had zero luck getting these chickens. But that seems to be the only thing that's around here. All right, as we come over to the area, there is a wild boar up here and some more enemies there. Okay, let's see if we can chase this chicken over in this area, get him to run a little bit in that direction. Okay, now let's check our map. Okay, we seem to be, let's see, straight ahead of us are some more enemies. Let's see what's over here. Okay, we got another one of these guys. Oh, now we got both of them alerted. This may not be good. All right, so now we got rid of one of the enemies. Let's hope we get enough health to make it, and enough stamina. Oh, and he ran away. Of course he did. Of course he ran away. All right, so we're going to eat up on some of these strawberries. How much do they give us? Plus seven health. Here's something running around us so that's not good generally all right so you can see it's not the easiest thing to do to try to trap something and we haven't even tried to actually trap anything yet all right let's go ahead and let's try to sneak up on this guy keep him in the center of the screen how close can i get to him all right so he's going to run off all right we can get fairly close to him though all right i'm going to try let's throw it okay so we had no luck there and now he's just going to run. All right. 
So let's go ahead and put that away. Yeah, chickens I have had absolutely zero look. Okay, here he comes. Hope this is the same one. No, it's a different one. Oh, again, the danger of these things is that they just do not let you have an opportunity to fight them. If we could have just killed that one off, we'd have been fine. All right, so all sorts of trouble going on for us right now. And that looks like, oh, well, there's a sheep over there. Maybe with something that's a little bit bigger. Let's try to get our health up a little bit higher because we are running low on health. Some more goblins over there. Let's see, where are we on the map? Okay, we're venturing out quite a bit and definitely farther than I wanted to. That is for sure. All right, let's take a quick look in our inventory. Let's see, we've got mushrooms. All right, we don't want that. We don't want to use that. I'm sure that's used for some sort of a, a potion of some sort. Oh, we got, oh, I like the apples. Let's go ahead and put the apples. All right, the pig. Again, I keep hearing these things. Let's go ahead and head over into this direction. We'll keep working on these apples. Oh, is that seriously all we had of the apples? That's no good. Let's get back in here then. Strawberries. And got some of these. We got, okay. So we're pretty good. There we've got our, okay, there is that wild boar again. At least I hope it's the same one. Nope, a different one again. Either that or he has gotten some health back. Okay, so he, for whatever reason, stuck around this time. We're going to try to get some healing back and... All right. I heard something else. And, wow, this is interesting. He keeps thinking that he wants to run away, and he does, but then he comes right back. All right, so the meat, we can't eat the meat. We'll have to cook it. Uh, looks like we'll have to go with the strawberry. We are running out of stuff here to help us out with our health. All right, there is, oh, there's two more over there. So I don't want to really mess with them. So we're having a hard time here. All right, let's turn around and let's get ourselves oriented back toward home. All right, so it looks like we got a guy to fight right over here on the left. Take care of him and a couple of swings. Oh, there's a bear right over there. And we don't want anything to do with him. Looks like something is up ahead. Looks like some more goblins as far as I can tell. Let's see, we don't want to provoke that bear. Ah, now we're stuck. Let's see. Hopefully they don't provoke that bear either. Again, if they'll just... All right, where did that bear go? Okay, so now he is over there. Right by the bear. We're going to try to get through this area. Oh, and there comes another one. So, boy, it is, it is not good. It is definitely not good to be out here. Oh, boy. And, boy, we are not in a good shape at all. All right, we're going to try to get back. Oh, and there's a bear right there. 
Wow. Okay. So it looks like if we just head back in this direction, we'll get back toward home. Hopefully we can fit through all of this. Looks like we can. Still looking for something I can tame. It would be nice if we could get something like a cow. Something, you know, fairly simple. I'm really not seeing much. All right, so we're going to head back through here. And I believe this is going to bring us right out to where we need to be. Okay, and of course it would have to get dark right when we're trying to do things here. But taming an animal is one of the things in this game that is, it will absolutely drive you crazy. Because in this game, you just don't have um, a reliable way of doing it that I have found. Again, that's not to say that somebody else hasn't found uh, a great way of doing it. But for me, I have not. Now I'm going to move over in this direction and see if we have any better luck. I know there is an opening right over here. Yeah, there we go. Let's make sure we get our weapon out because I know there's a guy over here waiting on us. Well, I thought I could get through here. No, I sure can't. Okay. So, let's see. Can we get through? And let's see, where is he? Oh, boy, there's a bunch of them over there. Let's see. Uh oh, he found his way through. All right, so here we go. We can get through right here. So it looks like instead of trying to tame something, we're going to be spending our time uh, fighting. Now, the biggest problem with this, of course, is, you know, these guys come at us one at a time. That's not going to be an issue for us. But the biggest problem we're going to have, I hear him, but I can't see him. There he is. The biggest problem is that they're getting closer and closer to our base. All right, so we've got a little bit more light out now. All right. One more down. We'll go ahead and eat a coconut for some stamina. And we're continuing to look. There's another chicken. Whoop. There's some more enemies. Thankfully, he goes down in only two licks. Here's another one who gets you just in time for my swipe. And there's a couple more over here. So yeah, this is what we intended to be time spent trying to tame something. Ends up being more about, all right, we're gonna try this from distance. All right, we've got him right in the center here. And that didn't work. All right, there's a, I see another chicken over here. Maybe we'll get a chance to try that one. But I am so far unimpressed with our ability to throw the net. All right, let's try the close-up method again. All right, we're going to try to get him right in the center and throw it. Hold him down. Man, can't seem to have any luck trying to tame one of these things. All right, more fighting. One at a time, please. Well, I guess the good news is we're able to get, let's see, let's go ahead and get another coconut. We're out of things to help with our health, I believe. We could cook that meat, and I'm sure that would help. But, yeah, we're getting a lot of coins. Okay, so, yeah, we're, we're out there. Now let's go ahead and trigger this next guy. Okay, another one down. Did he not even give us anything? Okay, let's take a look at our map. We got a couple of bad guys, one of which is right in front of us. We'll get him triggered and bring him back over. All right, back to the map. We got one off to the left and one off to the right. And I'm really, I would love to see a cow over here.
Okay, this guy's going to take three shots. And he gives us a gold coin. I like that. And then there was one other guy over here. Wow, okay, never mind. A whole bunch out ahead of us. And again, I'm not sure. I don't want to run into a huge mess. Oh, there's a wild boar over there, which would do a lot of damage to our health. Okay, and right over there is our land. So I don't want to make a path right there. Well, I kind of do, but at the same time, I don't because that would enable the enemies to get closer to us. Can I get through there? No, it won't let me through this way either. Okay. All right, so we're going to have to head back over this way. And again, it's slim pickings on trying to find something to tame. Let's pick up these mushrooms. Let's see what, what they are. Okay, good. They're for health. I'll take that. And let's see, let's get out of this menu. Okay, looks like nothing really is around. We've taken a few cracks at trying to tame something. And let's see. Oh, there's a cow. All right, looks like we're going to have to deal with a wild boar in order to get a shot at this cow. So let's go ahead and see if we can find our way down to do that. There he comes. Ah, missed him. A little bit too early with that whack. I was trying to time it just perfectly and missed it. All right, got him. All right, I'm so glad he did not run away. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of health back. Take a look here. Okay, we've got a few enemies. Looks like they're over that area. Okay, so now what I think is our best chance right now, we're going to give it... Uh, I like the up close... All right, we're standing right next to this cow, essentially, here. Okay, get the cow. And crap, it didn't work. Okay, get the chicken. No? Just, oh, really? Nothing? This is just ridiculous. All right, we're down to eight nets left. My goodness. All right, there's the cow. And if I can get him stuck against something, the old arc survival evolved method where you just get something rammed into a corner where they can't move. All right, let's try it from a little bit farther away. All right, get the cow now. Ah, throw it again. All right, okay, he's stuck, he's stuck. All right, I got him, I got him, I got him. All right, we tamed him. Okay, whoo. Wow. Okay, let's click on the cow and say, follow me. And that way he will come with us. Let's get our weapon back out and let's hope that we didn't just attract every evil thing around. All right, let's go. All right, you can see there is a guy over there. We're going to try to avoid everything on our way back because they will kill. As far as I know, they will kill everything that we have. Uh, let's see, how do we get through here? Of course, the biggest issue is how do I get the cow through here? He's going to follow us, but I'm not sure he's going to follow us to the level that I need him to. This is how I got through. Can he get through here is the question. Oh, he made it. Excellent. Good job, cow. Never thought I'd be congratulating a cow. All right, so now how do we get back through here? Let's take a look. All right, I know our way back is right through here somewhere, and here it is. All right, I was beginning to wonder if we were ever going to have any luck. Where is our cow? Oh, our cow is stuck. I have congratulated our cow too soon. I'll tell you what. All right, cow, can you come through there? No? Still nothing? Please don't hit the cow when you're chopping. All right. Come on, cow. 
Let's get back out of here. Where is he? Here he comes. Boy, this cow is, is running pretty quickly. All right, can we make our way through the trees now is the question. All right, where in the world are we? Oh, we're going the wrong way. All right, we need to be going right there. Right here, in fact. All right, and our cow made it through. Wow. All right, so let's go ahead and tell our cow, wait here, do nothing. Now, and this gives us a quick chance as we run out of time on the video to take a look at what you need to do with the cow. So what we need is we need to take six wheat and give it two water, which we can't provide yet. And then he will provide us with milk. So, and of course we don't know what we're gonna use the milk for. We could, maybe it's intended for us to drink it to restore health or stamina or whatnot. Or maybe it's intended to use for a crafting recipe or both. But the idea is that we're gonna get water from a well, which is not opened up for us to craft just yet and wheat, which we can't grow just yet. We'll have to find that in the wild, which we've gotten a little bit here. You can see some seeds and also that, but this opens really opens the door for us to start doing some farming. But our cow for the time being his has free roam. So I have no way of keeping him really pinned in at the moment. So we'll have to, in our next video, we'll have to work on uh, creating even more of a homestead now that we have one domesticated animal We'll try to uh, get nailed down more crops, open up some crop growing. We'll have to get a well, uh, continue building, uh, maybe some fences, if I can find them, of course. We'll try to start building some fences. So there's a lot more uh, that we need to get, to get done as we continue to gain levels. Thank you very much for joining me on this Let's Play, and stay tuned for more Force of Nature.